Hi Gems, it's your girl Amber here and welcome back to my channel. You guys, I'm really excited about this video. Um, one, because so many, and I mean so many of you, have asked me to do this review. And honestly, I was just waiting for it to get in stores, love. Like, I hate waiting on packages. I mean, I like it, but I hate it when I want to do something right away. And I'm not into paying overnight shipping. So nonetheless, um, one day I kind of like you know randomly went into randomly went into sephora just to see what was going on with the concealers and everything from the collection was in sight what am i talking about i'm referring to the born this way medium to full coverage foundation that jackie Aina, in collaboration with Too faced extended nine additional shade ranges for deeper skin tones which you know kudos to Too faced i have watched jared's journey um i if you guys don't know i've been in the corporate side of beauty for a little bit of time and I've seen him go from working at a counter all the way to expanding his own brand with his husband and where it is now it's like whoo why didn't I think of that but uh never too late but anywho I could appreciate you know when people on that uh, echelon of entrepreneurship really reach out to those who are going to be able to provide them with the best quality control when it comes to extending deeper shade range there's nothing like you know talking to the cow about the milk you know what I'm saying so nonetheless one other thing that they also expanded on was their concealer which I'm going to be demonstrating on today in my opinion I don't want this uh video it's not a first impression because I did use it on 4th of July just because I was so concerned about the color um and we'll talk about what shade I am deeper in the video but this is definitely going to be a review and if you are interested in how the born this way new shade range measures up along with concealers then keep watching all right gems we're going to jump right into it as far as skin i haven't prepped it with anything other than a moisturizer uh, but as far as primer is concerned i'm going to go in with the Too Faced hangover replenishing primer um i just have this mindset that if a foundation has a primer then they're going to work really well together i particularly love um the way that this primer smells but then when it dries down it kind of has like a sticky so in my opinion i'm going to just assume that the foundation is going to stick to it really really nicely so i'm just going to apply this all over the skin So as far as shade range, um, as we all know, Too Faced launched over 40 shades, or is it 40? I'll make sure to annotate that in this video if I'm quoting that incorrectly. However, it was a collaboration of an extended nine shades from Jackie Anna here on YouTube. I have never felt inclined to purchase from Too Faced when it comes to complexion products. I just find that either their marketing or their messaging just doesn't target me as an audience or a potential customer. But with Jackie Ina and her two cents in the mix, I definitely was more inclined to make a purchase with this brand. Um, as far as color is concerned, I am neutral undertone, but I will lean more golden if I'm looking for something to be the best color match for my skin. Um, the summer has already hit us here in Washington, so I have gotten just a taste deeper in my skin complexion. So taking that into account, looking for something in the summer months, um, I picked up the Born This Way foundation in the shade tiramisu i feel like in the winter months i'd probably be more cocoa because that is a neutral like a deep neutral undertone but in the summer months when i'm getting a little bit deeper there's definitely more golden that's coming and projecting through this melanin so um as you guys may not know you get about one fluid ounces which is pretty standard for fluid for fluid lord for liquid foundation um i want to use a new brush if you guys follow me on my insta stories i was inclined to make this purchase because makeup by shayla whether on instagram or on youtube she uses this brush all the time she speaks highly of it but really low key and i've been looking um for a brush that was going to give me more of a buffed out complexion um when applying foundation so i went on ahead and picked this up from macy's this is the smashbox blurring foundation um, and it's interesting because if you want full coverage, it says to hold um, the brush closest to the tip. And then if you want sheer, you kind of use the bottom of the ferrule of the brush to kind of blend out the foundation. Which I think is a very in informative and insightful. I don't even know if everyone knew that. But I'm going to squeeze a little bit of tiramisu on the back. Um, and one thing that I also want to be completely transparent about is that I know that this foundation... 
Um, let's let's read about it. Hydrating, long wearing, photo ready, non chemogenic. I think I said that right. But nonetheless, so anything that says hydrating really makes me nervous. Um, only because I'm oily combination. So I don't feel like this is going to be best for those who have strictly oily skin, but maybe for oily combination, it could it could play a really good part in just your normal routine if you're into mixing or maybe you need more reinforced um, mattifying primers underneath. But it does have coconut water to aid in delicate replenishing skin's moisture levels, alpine rose to help brighten and boost the skin's radiance, and then hyaluronic acid for a smoother, more youthful appearance. It does attest that it is an oil-free uh, oil foundation uh, naturally diffuses the lines between makeup and skin coverage so undetectable skin so natural flawless they'll think you're born this way um, and it is medium to full coverage and I'm a full coverage kind of girl but in the summer months I can I can uh I can be swayed either way so this is tiramisu on the back of my hand um yeah I mean in my opinion it still definitely has a little bit of neutral undertone but I can see the golden in it for sure and I'm just going to go ahead and apply this directly onto the skin and it's so interesting because I was I mean it's just so hard to select um a foundation online but oddly enough my look with Sephora had the whole entire collection with the Jackie Ina display Oh my god, I do like this brush. Oh yeah, I definitely feel like a brush, just to kind of give you a review on that. It's not giving me any streaks. It's definitely buffing out really, really nicely. Different than, say, like, my Morphe 5, 439, right, you guys? Uh, that was a tough piece. So as far as coverage is concerned, definitely medium to full, because I can still see a bit of my scarring and here on my cheek. So I personally would go in with another coat. But as far as, like, matching to my skin, I'm really happy with it. As you can see the hydration I can see the shiny points on my face and outside of where just the lights are heading I mean I wasn't expecting it to be a matte foundation so it's definitely delivering on more of like a dewy worn in or you've already kind of had it on the skin for a bit so it's kind of already kind of marinated into the skin but yeah I think I'm gonna go in with one more pump put it in those areas that we were just talking about that I can kind of still see scarring. And buff that right in. Oh, I really like this brush. One other thing that Too Faced expanded on was their concealers. I, I, again, I've never used any of their complexion products, so I'm leaning more towards one shade other than the other and the two that I have. My girlfriend Sophia got the PR kit and she is not my complexion so she gave me um, some options to choose from. I'm gonna show you, they're really nice components. They're definitely wicked large. Like this is my Maybelline Instant Rewind. Um, what else, this is my uh, ColourPop. Like this is significant in size. But the two shades that she gave me was Maple and Chestnut. I'm just gonna give you guys a swatch. This is Maple. And she's fair. She definitely has a lot of yellow undertones. Um, and then this is chestnut, which I believe, in my opinion, gives you more of a golden, which I, I prefer for my under eye. Yeah. She's definitely more golden. So that's what I'm going to use. As far as the applicator, she's thickums, right? She definitely reminds me of the applicator that Tarte had. Um, but, you know, I don't use that product anymore, so... <laughs> Honestly, it gives me the same comfort level as my Maybelline Rewind because it's such a large surface area to get underneath the eye and really pack the product on. I've heard nothing but really good things about it. I had to double check, make sure I was using the right. And I'm just going to go in with my beauty sponge that is dirty. <laughs> It blends out really nicely and I love how like the consistent is creamy but still very pigmented that that like immediately I like to bring it up a little bit on my nose and create the contour all right I'm gonna go ahead and blend the rest of this product out and then we'll be back for contour 
so we blended out the concealer and I just used the typical products that I do for my contour, which is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Foundation Stick in the shade Earth. I place it in the areas that I would need to snatch. That being my jawline, my cheekbones, and you know, let's you know, minimize this five head. And I'm just going in with my Morphe E56 and I like to buff that in. So what I haven't done thus far is set my under eye concealer um, and I picked up another product from Too Faced. I'm just in here preaching the gospel when I've never purchased from them before. But one other thing that Jackie Ina um, partnered with them is extending their ethereal setting powder. I only got one. I got it in translucent medium, which is more of kind of indicative of like Sasha Buttercup or um, your Ben 9 banana powder. Um, what I really liked about it was the way that the component was packaged. I love that this has this little cap over it um, rather than like trying to peel back that plastic um, and really creates like a secondary barrier if you're like, traveling. So I'm going to show you guys what she looks like. She's definitely way more golden. This is actually the shade that I create when I mix my Sasha Buttercup with my Laura Mercier. So I was really excited to see this and it's really finely milled, super, super soft. So I'm hoping that this is going to be a product that is going to combat my pore issues. I'm just going back in with my beauty sponge just to blend out the concealer if it's set into my lines under my eyes. And then I'm gonna go in with the powder and just press it into the skin. Yeah, that's stunning. Like it really mattified that center part for me, but still didn't take it away where I look like ghostly. You know what's so funny is that, do you guys watch the show Pose on FX? It's the same producer who created American Horror Story. And I mean, I mean, I mean, I mean, he started off with Glee, but I am obsessed. And I think it has a lot to do with that my friend is in the ballroom scene here in Seattle and I'm so proud of him of what he's accomplished over the years and he's House of Malicious Allure um, if you guys want to look him up on Instagram but oh god like the under like the backstory and the content it like pulls at my heartstrings where there's times I'm watching episodes and I end up texting him and I'm like I know you can't choose your family but I will always be your friend like I have these I'm so sensitive that way I'm gonna go ahead and set my cream contour with my Morphe uh, Showman's Brontour. And uh, he shares a lot with me as far as like how his family adjusted uh, to his journey, but he has the most amazing parents. He did not have to experience half the things that these characters on these shows experiencing. Or maybe there's just a larger population in the LGBTQ community. Um, so he's very blessed in that way. Like I adore watching him engage with his mom and his dad. Um, Cause he has, he is triumphed in my opinion. And he can dance his ass off. If you guys follow me on my Insta stories and we hang out, I'll always be like the friend that's beside nice him. So that he can go ahead and like basically crush souls on the dance floor. Um, so that was really beautiful. I definitely can see myself using that ethereal powder. I love how finely milled it is. I mean, I'm not gonna give my full on testimony until she's been out here in these streets. because so I do have to go to work and an all day wear is definitely so telling. I'm just gonna finish my lower lash line because that's just one thing I can't leave home without. But you know what, before I do that, let's do, let's do some blush. I got this when I purchased, I think the semi, -cho semi chocolate white chocolate palette one of them I think I got it from like QVC or something but this is justify my love and this attests to be a long-lasting 16-hour blush and this is called love flush but you guys know how I feel about a pink blush on deeper skin tones this is a really beautiful one actually and what I love about it is that it has a bit of shimmer in it like light nothing too crazy I'm gonna go in with a highlighter. I think I'm gonna use, where's my brow? Here we go, I use my Morphe R31, but I don't know which highlighter I want to use. So let's, okay, here's one in front of me that I'm pretty interested in. Uh, my Betty Luminizer, it's an oldie but goodie. She's really 
that was a weird way I was holding it. <laughs> there it is. Um, what I love about this highlighter is that it just kind of melts into the skin. It's not too overpowering. And this one has more of a subtle gold rather than um, like a white gold or too yellow. Ash, I'm gonna go ahead and spray my face with she is surely become one of my favorites. The Hangover 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. Same ingredients as the cream primer. I've really been enjoying it. And it smells amazing. All right, gems, we're back. Wig on. Um, as far as lips, I used my uh, MAC Chestnut Liner and I used my Too Faced and Melted Chocolate in the shade Chocolate Honey. It is actually one of my favorite nudes to use and it's very moisturizing even though it indicates that it's like a matte finish. It's more of a satin finish in my opinion. Nonetheless, let's get into this foundation. I'm pleasantly surprised by the color matching. However, um, even though like the foundation matcher was aligning me more with Coco, I find that Tiramisu is a beautiful, uh, what is it, partnership with like my neck so I look like I'm like, you know, two separate individuals. I have to say I do love the concealer and I don't think that's going to require me to have wear tests. Like I can tell immediately when I put on a concealer, the consistency, whether or not it's going to play me by the end of the day, to be quite honest. One thing is that I want to continue to reiterate that this is not necessarily marketed towards oily girls. Oily combination can get away with this. I am oily combination. I'm more oily in my T-zone, but very dry on the perimeter of my face. So it really depends on what you feel like finagling. I know that it's not something that I would put like in my top 10 mattifying or um, semi matte finish products. It does feel light. It does feel very natural. Don't feel caked on. I loved applying it with the brush. If you guys or in the market for some new application if you are a little you know bored with maybe using a beauty blender it does really really well with a brush application um, I love how seamless and very well attests to build a coverage I like full coverage so putting on a couple pumps did give me the coverage that I needed for the areas of my face that I've either picked or prod at or you know hyperpigmentation but if I have an opportunity to jump back on here and give you at least a full like five or six hour wear I will definitely do so um I don't have high expectations for that only because it has a hydrating element to it so my t-zone area may play me but I'll try to at least get some footage on my cell phone so that I can inject into this video but other than that I am definitely a firm believer in the concealer yeah She's, she's definitely going to be in heavy rotation. I'm in the shade Chestnut for those who use me as a reference. And Tiramisu is my summer shade. So maybe I'll use Tiramisu more on vacation. But nonetheless, I feel like it's a really nice match. I don't feel too golden. I don't feel too red, which is where I typically stay away from when I don't find something in my in my true match. Um, I think Jackie did a really good job. I feel like she got the undertones really well. I don't feel like I have like a gray cast or kind of like this green that some foundations can give over the skin. And just to give you guys some reference as far as other shades that I'm that I wear on a consistent basis, I am uh, Max Studio Fix and NW47 or NC50, I believe. <laughs> Like I can go back and forth again, depending on the time of the year. Um, for CoverGirl, you know, I'm 775 Sable. Um, what else? ColourPop, I'm in shade 200. Just to kind of give you guys a good reference point on the color foundations that I use and how Tiramisu worked for me. So if you like videos like this, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Make sure you share it so that all the girls in the Melanin family has a reference point with the shade Tiramisu, which is one of the nine shades that Jackie Aina extended in collaboration with Too Faced Cosmetics. Um, I love you. Until the next video. Bye.